G'day guys, Matt here this morning. So I've beaten the sun out of bed and uh, yeah, it's turning out to be quite a nice sunrise. So yeah, today we're gonna be in the Rogator uh, spraying the linseed. So yeah, that'll probably take up most of the day. They're talking a bit of rain tonight. So yeah, we're really trying to get it all sprayed before rain um, and make sure we've got a couple of hours of nice weather for the chemical to work on the plant before it rains. Yeah, so linseed's a good crop in your rotation if you've got uh, some problem weeds. So, like, you can use a grass spray on it, uh, and or you can use a lot of broadleaf sprays on it, uh, and it won't kill it. So, it's very handy if you've got just uh, a couple of different types of weeds that you're just wanting to control. Um, so, yeah, we have it in the rotation. Not just for that, but it certainly helps. At the minute, we're going in with just a, a fairly normal broadleaf spray. Um, and it won't, yeah, it, it won't affect it. Obviously, kill all the, the broadleaf weeds. If you're growing wheat, it's hard to control uh, some of your cereal weeds, so oats, uh, things like that. It's quite expensive to spray uh, because they're they're very closely related oats to wheat. Uh, so yeah, that's why it's just a good break crop. It gives you a chance to fairly cheaply control uh, the weeds in there. So yeah. Now this here is the chickpeas. As you can see, we had quite a lot of rain after we sowed it. So yeah, there's patches like this where there's virtually nothing. But all in all, it's pretty good. There's some sections, like fairly large sections out there that are thin uh, and yeah, fairly stunted just from the rain. Uh, but yeah, all in all, we're pretty happy with how it's all come up. Don't have to re-sow. It's coming along nicely. You can see some of these patches here are a, uh, are a little bit thicker. So yeah, they're, they're a good six, seven inches high, which is, uh, yeah, they're looking good. We beat the rain on Monday. Uh, we finished off that paddock at one of the home blocks. In the last two days, we've just been fiddling around in the shed here, fixing a few things that we've been waiting to fix for a while. So we've had a few of the utes have had uh, four-wheel drive issues, so rocks and things come up and flick switches and wires and things are damaged. So uh, yeah, it's just been a good chance to get a few of those things ticked off. I know, we're just over here at the planter. So yeah, this is Josiah, he's been the main man just poking away, getting the disc for the colders sorted. Um, so yeah, they're all on. You can see now it's looking a lot more, a lot more beefy. And uh, yeah, he's just going through now and greasing them. So, and checking for any movement. So she's all, all good to go. Uh, we only have to grease the, the bearings for the press wheels and the colders once a season. Uh, so yeah, that's quite handy. So yeah, we're just making sure he's getting acquainted with the grease gun because a lot of people these days seem to have a phobia of grease guns. And uh, yeah, so we're just making sure he he's uh, well acquainted and it should set him up for life, being able to, to grease things and not be scared of it. So yeah, we're, we're progressing. Yeah, he's finished greasing uh, all the bearings here and yeah, putting the discs you can see on there. And yeah, now just working on replacing the uh, main primary hoses. So. We had one wear through, you can see there, so that was sort of towards the end of planting. So we just put that over the top and a bit of duct tape, and that kept it going. Uh, so yeah, we've got all new hoses for that, they're just going in now. And uh, yeah, after that, just a couple little jobs here and there, 
but it should be fairly well ready to go for next year. Then we've got to work on the air cart, so uh, that'll be just cleaning it all out thoroughly, uh, spraying a light bit of oil all on the inside, particularly the fur tank, all the gears and that, just make sure they're oiled up for uh, sitting for a few months. Other than that, I think tomorrow it should be dry enough for the two dozers to get going again. And yeah, so Brad and Phil will be on them. And I've just got a few more jobs to tidy up here. So yeah, we're just a few other work vehicles and uh, things like that have been quite neglected for a, for a little while. So uh, while it's wet, we're just getting on top of that. Well, g'day guys, it's Phil here. Matt has asked me to uh, sort of give it a bit of an update as to where we are with the dozers. Matt's still up at the workshop there. He's delegated him for all the uh, fixing jobs up in the shed on the vehicles. So we figured we're better off burning someone else's diesel. The contours here that we're doing, they've been busting out in a lot of places because they haven't been on grade properly and we had about 180 mil in three hours at the start of the year. So that's going to test, test things out quite a bit. So we've been going along making sure banks are on grade. While we're on that note, that's where the GPS is really good because we get to make sure that the grade is correct. This is a contour bank that I've just finished off. Uh, it's there, laid width in the bottom. Uh, it's, it's flat and on grade, so it's uh, going to carry a lot of water. Uh, we also got the top of the contour there, so we've made sure that's to height. Um, all the way through so we don't have weak weak areas where the water can topple over so yeah that should should work well we we just don't want it moving too slow because then it will, it'll gather too much water in the contour and bust over and do more damage to the paddock and vice versa we don't want the grade too steep because the water will come too fast through on the the spoon drain here and, and, and erode the bottom of it. So we want it right and uh, I'll just come, come back when it dries out a bit and, and level it out a bit more with the scarifier and drag bucket. There's some GoPro footage of the dirt coming up past the hungry boards and just to give you perspective, this is me with my arm right up and I'm still a long way off top there yeah that's about where we're up to um, yeah I don't want to take over Matt's job so I better get back on the dozer
So we're chugging through the jobs here at the shed. Uh, yeah, we've basically got all the little tidying up jobs, a few of the vehicles and things that, were, that we've been having some issues with for a while. We're able to get them tidied up. Still just working away at the planter. So yeah, we're onto the points at the minute. Uh, yeah, so Josiah's over there banging away, uh, putting in new points. I'm just in the process of disconnecting the air cart. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna clean it out, blow it down, uh, grease it, and yeah, just get it all ready for storage. Uh, and yeah, just double check over it, make sure it's ready to go for next year. So we're just gonna pot wash it out and uh yeah just see all the the mud there on the on the axle and yeah there's a bit of oil and fertilizer sitting up on top of these boxes here so yeah give it a good give it a good clean out end of the day just going to quickly grease this uh, after i've washed it uh, just to push out any water that might have gone into the bearings or or uh, any of the pivot points so just to make sure they've got a nice bit of fresh grease in them if you enjoy the videos just keep hitting the like button and uh yeah just remember if you haven't already to hit the subscribe button and uh and even turn the notifications on if you yeah want to be notified of whenever we upload a video um yeah we'll catch you in the next one